The conclusion to a second season at Celtic for Brendan Rodgers delivered the manager's finest moment. If Rodgers was not revered by Celtic's followers before, he will be now. This now famous Celtic side, under the guidance of the 45-year-old, has marched into the history books, again and with consummate ease. Jock Stein could not return successive domestic trebles when in charge of Celtic. Neither could Martin O'Neill. No Scottish side had achieved back-to-back -back clean sweeps until this sunny afternoon on Glasgow's south side, when Motherwell were left chasing shadows. Sometimes football really is blissfully simple, this encounter perfectly encapsulated what should happen when the dominant force meets the side who finished 7th in the top flight. Any sense that Celtics support a growing board by their monopoly was undermined by the scale, and sound, of their celebrations here. Rogers, whose career in management lacked tangible reward before the arrival at his boyhood heroes, has now won six domestic trophies from a possible six. But for the European stage, where Celtic Cavs struggled to make an impact under the former Liverpool manager, Rogers would be running out of targets. Steven Gerrard's imminent arrival at Rangers has generated considerable interest but the chasm between Celtic and the rest in Scotland should not be underplayed. Occasions such as this only highlight as much. The outcome was apparent from the early stages. It was wholly fitting that Callum McGregor not only set Celtic on course for victory but remained a prominent figure as Motherwell gasped desperately for air. McGregor's career was not exactly stagnating before Rodgers took office but the improvement in the midfielder has been stunning. There is a legitimate argument that the development of Mick Gregor, James Forrest, Tom Rogic and Kieran Tierney has been far more of a Celtic success story for Rodgers than what he has derived from the transfer market. McGregor was curiously omitted from player of the year lists, there have been few, if any, more consistent players in Scotland this season. Callum McGregor celebrates after opening the scoring in the 11th minute. Photograph Ian McNichol, Getty Images Motherwell's manager, Stephen Robinson, can cite sloppiness in Charles Dunn's 11th-minute clearance. Still, McGregor had work to do when pouncing on the ball 20 yards from goal. The 24-year-old displayed wonderful technique to slam a half-volley into Trevor Carson's net via the inside of his right post. Motherwell had not been comprehensively outplayed by this stage but their plan was always likely to collapse with the loss of the opening goal. Their task was to become even more stern before the interval as Olivier N.T. Chom, now an integral part of Rodgers' plans after a slow start upon arrival from Manchester City, collected a layoff from Moussa Dembele before drilling a low finish beyond Carson. With just 25 minutes played, it was impossible to ignore the sense that this tie was over. Motherwell were afforded an opportunity in the 28th minute that they really needed to take. Curtis Main, handed a rare sight of goal as Celtic's central defense dozed blazed high over Craig Gordon's crossbar. Celtic should have been 3-0 up by the interval, Rajic instead putting a tame effort into Carson's hands. Main was denied by a fine Gordon save, three minutes after the restart, as Motherwell chased salvation. Yet it was Celtic who continued to dominate the ball and, in turn, the match. Rodgers and his players appealed in vain for a penalty as Dembele tumbled under a challenge from Tom Aldred. The France striker subsequently fired wide from close range, Forrest having created the chance. Dembele's next chance saw Carson produce a stunning save to thwart a header. Sign up for the Fiverr, our free daily football email.
To their credit, Motherwell did not curl into a submissive position and finished on the front foot. Chris Cadden capitalized on slack play by Scott Brown before charging towards the Celtic penalty area. Dedrick Boyata hauled Cadden back, a yard from where a spot kick would have been awarded. Gail Biggermana cracked the result in Motherwell free kick against the bar and their chances faded. What may well be his final Celtic appearance, the excellent Dembele was denied the goal he appeared desperate for. Another winner's medal will serve as reasonable consolation. Rogers has made the receipt of silverware a Celtic formality. I need to push them even harder next season, Brendan Rogers has warned the rest of Scottish football his Celtic side will only improve after they made history at Hampton Park. Celtic's 2-0 win over Motherwell in the Scottish Cup final meant they became the first team to achieve back-to-back -back domestic trebles in Scotland. Callum McGregor and Olivier N.T. Chomp scored the goals inside the opening 25 minutes. I need to push them even harder next season, there is no doubt about that, said Celtic's manager. They don't get too many pats on the back, this is our job, we are here to win. I think we can be better. We dropped too many points this year, especially at home. After a successful season like last year, it is easy to go timed and soft. That's something I was very aware of. It isn't the punches to the head and the body that stop you, it's the pats on the back. So we have to continue to work. We'll go away, recover and come back with big motivation in the summer, Rogers said the significance of Celtic's achievement will take a while to sink in. An historic day for everyone that is here, he added. For us to be the first team to do this is a real privilege and really special. We imposed ourselves on the game early on and scored two brilliant goals. I thought the dominant team won the game but of course you have to concentrate all the way through. It will probably take time for me to enjoy it. We have just got to the end of a very long season. My thoughts now are more with the supporters, players, staff and the board who brought me here. I'm so happy for them and hope they can really enjoy this. To give the supporters a moment of history like this gives me real satisfaction. Motherwell's manager, Stephen Robinson, bemoaned his side's poor opening to the final but expressed overall satisfaction with a team who reached two cup finals this season, having lost the League Cup final by the same scoreline to the same opposition in November. We lost the game in the first 25 minutes, said Robinson. We didn't go right up against them as we planned to. We didn't test them with balls into the box, which we are very good at, and we sat off them for the goals. We were getting better as the game went on. Who knows, if we had got a goal, we could have had them on the back foot. We created a lot of chances and caused them a lot of problems. The regret we have is that first 25 minutes. I've told the players I'm proud of them. As a group they have given a belief back into the town. The fans stayed until the end and I thought the players deserved that for their performance.